So today we received the best news that we've ever had. And if you guys have followed us for the past three years, you may have an idea of what that news might be. If you've followed our journey for the past three years, you'll know that our biggest goal was to one day move to Australia. And with Rosie growing up in Australia for 10 years of her life, it's been her life goal to go back there ever since she moved to the UK in 2014. From 2019 to 2023, we have traveled Australia twice, spending two months exploring where we could one day call home. Two years ago, Rosie's family decided to move back to their hometown in Australia. And this was an extremely hard time for Rosie because she had no family in this country. She only had me. So this made her want to move to Australia even sooner. And seeing as Australia means so much to us, in December last year, I decided to propose to Rosie in one of our favorite beach locations. And once I proposed, we both had a discussion and we both decided in that moment that it's now time to move. But in order to do that, I kind of need a visa. And this can take anywhere from six months to two years to be approved. But after only waiting six weeks from applying for my visa, we received a phone call to tell me that my visa has already been approved. That means that he doesn't need to have the, the two years. So quick. That's insane. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye. <laughs> yes, Paul. Oh my god. Why oh, did you want to cry? Oh, I've got tears in my eyes. Like, literally. <laughs> I'm so happy. I was not expecting that oh at all. Oh my god. Residency. I know. Like full residency. What do you mean? What's the difference to? Like it's not the two year one that they give out to most people. They're giving you like full residency to the country. Why? Forever and ever and ever and ever ever for the rest Why? of your life. Why? Why? So we had so much evidence. What the? F <laughs> no way, you're lying. I heard her say that. I didn't know what she meant. No. Wait, so she said she said I've got. Why would she do that? Because like they just approved it. Like and they they Fuck. she like applied for that. Oh my god, that's crazy. <laughs> for those you guys that are confused, basically when you like. Apply for residency, you get like two years, and yeah, they give you basically like two years, and then they analyze you after them two years to let you stay again. But they've just let me in for forever. Oh <laughs> Not my like gosh, that. that's crazy! Oh my god, that's it. I'm so happy, that's it. We can move to Australia we can move tomorrow, girls. We can move to Australia. We can move oh to Australia. Do you want to go to Australia? I'm not even joking. That means you could actually just, we could move tomorrow. I uh, now it's been said. Like I think I'm getting like, really tempted <laughs> because we were saying like not for until another like nine to twelve months. We, but that was based off the fact that like this could take six months. We were told that the whole visa process would take six months. It's taken four weeks. Four weeks. That's like the quickest time I've. Don't, I think I've, that's the quickest time I've ever heard anybody get accepted. I'm actually like, I'm so shocked that I can't feel emotion. Like, I'm just like... Oh, I can. <laughs> <laughs> I know you crying. can. I can't believe it's finally like, we literally dreamed of that. But we did, three years ago, and now like, it's happened. Three years ago. Three now... years ago we said that, and now it's happened. It's only half eight, you're mm. crying. Mm. We're in our dog clothes. Yeah. And uh, yeah, what a great morning. <laughs> <laughs> Why couldn't she call when we actually looked good? I know. <laughs> That's like the best news we've ever had. Uh, ever. Literally. This is us right now on a walk when it's completely grey and chucking it down with rain and we've just been able to go to Australia. That's like so ironic. Yeah, this is like they couldn't have made a better time to call us because this, this is the reason why we're moving out of this country. This is why. I mean, don't get me wrong. When it's sunny, this is kind of beautiful, but I'm so bored of it. So bored of it. Are we going to get your vaccine? Oh my goodness. Right, so it's now a few days after we found out Harry's visa's been approved. Yeah. And the next big stage of our whole like Australia master plan is get the dog's vaccine ready yes. for the move. These babies so, need to get vaccine because if they don't, we can't move to Australia. So the first vaccine that they have to have and like the whole first thing of the process of moving the dogs over is for them to have their rabies vaccines. And then in 30 days time, they have to have some blood work done. That's what we're here to have done today. Yeah. And puppies can't wait to go in. <laughs> and she can't wait to go in. But basically, after they've had their vaccines, we then have six months after that that we can move to Australia. So yeah. we can technically be in Australia by April next year. Well, that's 12 months. Oh, yeah. <laughs> six months is by the end of the year. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> hey, just ignore me, guys. <laughs> Well, that wasn't too bad, was it? Even when Daisy had her operation, yeah. she was excited to be there. She was. <laughs> she literally loves it. I don't, I've never known a dog to love having an injection so much. It's so, so weird. That means you're one step closer to moving to Australia. Yeah. 
So like, you happy? <laughs> it's because they just had their vaccines done. It's only fair we give them a pop cup. It is. And they know when they have a pop cup. They know. They, know. <laughs> they just half hanging look over. Look at all the dribble on oh, the cushion. Oh God, no, it's okay. We're going to come to you. Don't worry. Good girls, you get this. And oh, pretty much gone. Already. Already. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> oh no, your nose. Ready? <laughs> Do you want some more? I don't think there's any left in them. This is the car. I mean, not exactly that one, but we're aiming for a Jeep when we move to Australia. That's so nice. It's a bit smaller. Yeah. I think that's like a two door. Oh my, any Jeep's just so nice. I know, that's the goal. The day we get a Jeep, the amount of like feeling of blessedness I will feel. <laughs> oh, I can't even explain it. In the comments of TikTok and in the comments of YouTube, I don't know why, but this question keeps coming up and it's like, why are you moving to Australia? <laughs> I feel like you guys don't actually know why. I mean, some of you obviously do because you followed us for so long, but majority of you might think like, why are we moving to Australia? Yeah. Some of you might know Rosie grew up in Australia her family lived there it's where we want to raise our baby it's where we want to have a whole family and it's just like it feels like home it feels like us. home and even for me it feels like home like I've been living in the UK for like 20 Five, five years, years. 25 whole years life. my whole life and i felt more at home in the two months in australia like every time we went yeah you did yeah so like it's basically my second home and you guys keep asking as well am i gonna miss my family what's gonna happen with my family because none of my family live in australia like no yeah. one lives there and of course i'm gonna miss my family i'm gonna miss them a lot but when they come to visit it's gonna be like a whole holiday yes. and i just i'm trying not to think about it yeah i think obviously since my family has been living in australia and i'm basically living in england by myself like harry's the only person I've got here in England he's like seen me deal with living so far away from my family and the things that I've had to go through so that when it comes to you being the one that's gonna be far away from your family I know. you kind of know almost in a way how to deal with it already because yeah. like you've seen me deal with it definitely I'm like I'm um, of course it's upsetting and it's gonna be hard because it's not like I'm moving down the road no. like I'm literally moving to the furthest country away that you can physically get to. You I can't be held know. back. Like this is one thing like, and my family been saying this to me, like they don't want to help hold me back. They don't want to say, don't move to Australia. Like you've got to follow your dreams. And if yeah. your dreams are to live in Australia, you got to do it. Yeah. Out, <laughs> <laughs> Always burp when I film. So annoying. <laughs> Some of you guys were just pretty crazy. Some of you guys might actually remember the day that Rosie's family moved to Australia. I was actually in bed and I picked up the camera because I heard you crying and I was oh. like, and I just knew. I was like, Rosie's family are just like they're, they're they're saying they're moving to I Australia. I don't know how you knew because I didn't even see it coming. I know. Some of you guys might remember that. That's when we lived in our apartment in Manchester. That was like that was crazy. That feels yeah. like yesterday. But that's another thing. Like now her family's there. It almost feels like my family is also in Australia. So it's like yeah. I'm not. I don't feel alone. Exactly. I've got you and your family. Okay. And our dogs, which are nowhere to be seen right now. They're like sleeping in the back. Yeah, they've had their pop cup and they're like, nah, I'm yeah. tired. <laughs> well, yeah. Come here. Guess what I've just seen? The house that we went and looked at when we went in Australia two months ago is still for sale. No way. Look, it's literally still on the website. Oh my god. It's the exact one that we went and looked at. Oh my god, yeah, but that was like our dream dream. I know, life. I know. That was like our dream house, but the fact that it's still on there, is that a sign? Oh, I don't it know. Be ours one day? Oh my god. If you guys saw that video of us in Australia, some of you might have seen it. We went and toured three houses. I think we toured five, like but we didn't three show houses. you. Yeah, we didn't show you all the five. We showed you three and this one was like our dream house oh my god it was so nice and the fact that it's still for sale now i'm just like that's a sign bubs uh, we need to just move and buy that house now guys what do you think like this video if you think we should move sooner than 10 months because our plan is we want to move to australia in 10 months right yeah. so by january next year we want to move and we can't move any sooner than that because the dogs have to have their vaccines and they have to stay in the uk for like a minimum of six months so yeah. we have Technically, we can move in October. Yeah, technically we can, but our plan's to move in January. But if you guys think we should move sooner than 10 months time, I think you should like this video and I guess you'll find out. Is it, when you say overweight, is it the...